A Trello board is the most basic or most fundamental component within the Trello application. You can think of a Trello board as a workspace where you can put as much or as little information as you would like. Trello allows you to create as many different boards as you would like, and some can be personal or some you can open up to team members or colleagues, other people that you'd like to collaborate with. To create a new board, simply select the Create New Board option from the Trello dashboard. The first thing it will ask you to do is to give your board a title. Let's call this one Personal Projects. Simply select the Create button and it will bring us into our brand new board. Now, when you first create a Trello board, there's not an awful lot to see. You can see we have yet to create any lists and you cannot create a card until you've created a list. But let's get familiar with some of the other components within a Trello board. By hovering over the board name, you do have the option to rename your board as often as you'd like. Next to that, we have a star icon. By starring a board, this gives you the ability to favorite a board. And this will mean that this board, along with other boards that are favorited, will show up in the starred boards area. And this can be helpful when you are managing many different types of boards. There may be some boards that you would like to access a little more easier that you would like to see at the top of your dashboard list. Boards which have been starred will also show at the top of your boards list when you select the boards button in the top left hand corner. Next to that, we have the option to make this board private or public. Now, by default, each new Trello board is made private, meaning that only you have access to it or other people that you invite to this board. But you do have the ability to make your Trello boards public. And that means that anyone with this link will have access to this board and it will also be made available in search engines such as Google. Now, it doesn't mean that everyone can edit this board. When you make a board public, they can only see your board. But in most cases, you will want to make your board private. And that is the default option here. The other thing that we will see is on the right hand side of the screen, the menu option will be open by default. Let's take a look at two areas here, which you may want to change and get familiar with right away. The first one is the ability to change your background. Now, by default, a new board will be displayed in the Trello blue color, but you do have the ability to change to a variety of different colors. Let's select this purple color for an example. Now, you may be wondering, why would I want to change the background color of my board? Well, the biggest advantage here is that when you are viewing or accessing your many different Trello boards is to have a distinction between your boards. So again, this can be very helpful as you are navigating and accessing different boards. But let's go back to the change background and I'm going to come back to the default color blue. If you choose to upgrade to the business class of Trello, you do have the ability to choose a photo or a pattern or even to upload a photo of your choice as your background here. But for our example, we're going to stick with the color blue. Lastly, I want to point out the activity feed at the bottom of the menu area. Trello keeps a record of every single action which takes place within your Trello board. Here you can see it shows that I created this board just a few minutes ago, and it also shows that I changed the background of this board just a minute ago. This can be very helpful as you wish to go back and see what changes have been made, especially if you are collaborating with other individuals and want to see what changes they have made as well. Now to close the menu, simply select the X in the top right hand corner. This will give you the ability to see as much space on your Trello board as you start to work with lists and cards. And if you need to access the menu again, simply select the show menu option here.